Hey everybody, I'm Dr. JJ Thomas. Welcome to the Clinical Corner. Today, we're going to talk about how you can keep that hip mobility that you've been working so hard for with regular general stretches. So if you're the person that's been stretching and stretching and stretching and trying, trying to get that rotation in the hip and you just feel like it never seems to budge, these are the exercises for you. Let me tell you a little background. The reason oftentimes people can't keep that range of motion despite the fact that every day they're stretching and stretching and trying to get down and do things like this, is that the body has to be comfortable in that position. It means it has to relearn how to use range of motion. So if you stretch it and you don't activate it in those end ranges, then oftentimes your brain will decide it's not really worth anything. Those muscles, if they haven't activated or strengthened or worked in that position, then you're likely not going to keep that range of motion. So I'm going to give you two of my favorite exercises for dynamically stretching the hips. Dynamically stretching, meaning we're going to activate it through its end range. And I find this works great for a lot of my patients. So hopefully it will for you too. The first one we're going to do, I'm going to have you in like a squat position with yourself kind of holding yourself upright as much as you can with a sturdy couch or railing or something that's not going to move. Now, when you choose the position for this, what I want you to pick is a, um, a squat range that is not painful. I want you to go as deep as you can comfortably in this squat because we're going to push external rotation. We're going to push that rotation stretch at the end range. So if you're already at your very uncomfortable position in the squat and then you try to rotate your hips, it's not going to like it very much. So this is what I'm saying. So squat down, for me, I'm here and I'm comfortable there, but don't feel badly. If you're up here, that's totally fine. Wherever you are comfortably, you're gonna hold on gently, but I want these muscles of, of your hips and your core activated during this. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate, you're gonna pull your hips out and then pull them in. Pull your knees out and then pull them in, pull them out and then pull them in. So from the front position, I want you to do it like this, but from the front position, it's going to look like this. So you're here, you're going to go roll them in, roll them out, roll them in, roll them out. And then you can even do like one leg and you can use your hand to assist it at the end range. And you could do the other leg, assisting it at the end range. Now, if you can go here, that's even better. Do whatever you can at your end range. But you see here, your muscles are activating. Your core muscles are stabilizing while you're ranging your hips. And so it's giving more input to the brain to say, yes, I can use this, I should use this, and your body will likely retain it much better. So that's the first one. That's hip rotation in a squat is what we call it on our Primal app with our programs. The second one is something that I give often to patients. It's something that I learned through functional range conditioning. So that's a whole system of ranging your hips and ranging your whole body. And this is one that works really well for, again, retaining end range of motion and flexibility that you're working to get because you're going to dynamically activate those muscles at their end range. This one's a little complicated. So we're going to go through it step by step. I have some like descriptions of the move to try to help you visualize what we're looking for. So essentially the first part of this move, you're going to be in side lying and you're going to just be comfortable in side lying. Make sure your head's pretty supported and you're not like way down here. I want you to be comfortable. And then from there, I want you to consider that I want your core activated this whole time, again, like we talked about, so that your brain decides that this position that we're going to work through is worth keeping. So the first thing you're going to do is activate this top arm by just like making a fist and making it active. That's going to engage the core a little bit and give more input to the brain. So right here, we're going to activate this arm. And then the top leg, I want you to flex your knee to 90 degrees. So hip that all the angles are about 90 degrees. You're gonna start with your knee in this position. The first cue I give, I'm activating with this arm the whole time. The first cue I give to my patients is open the book. So I want you to, from this position with a 90-90 knee and hip, open your hips as much as you can, but I want you to do it so that the knee and the ankle are in the same sort of plane. So if, as if we were just opening pages of a book, okay? From there, we say rotisserie chicken. So I want you to now internally rotate your femur as much as you can, as if there's a skewer down my femur, down this thigh bone here. 
all the way to my hip, and I'm just going to rotate as much as I can to get internal rotation. From there, I'm going to donkey kick back as far as I can. Now, this is the hardest part. I'm going to drop the knee and raise the heel as I'm continuing to extend my hip. Keep dropping as I'm extending, and then I'm going to pull it back through. So for this exercise, we're going to go one direction and the other direction so that we're activating through all the ranges. So we're going to show that one again. We're going to flex the knee and the hip to 90-90. We're going to open the book. Rotisserie chicken, internally rotate, meaning the heel is kicking behind me, but I'm keeping my knee up as high as I can, as if I'm on a skewer. Now this part, I'm going to donkey kick back to get hip extension. Now I'm activating all these glutes in this internally rotated position. Now I'm going to ask for even more rotation as I drop the knee and raise the heel as I continue to extend back through the hip, drop the knee, and then pull it through. So that's the first part of this. The second part of this is just to reverse it. So now I'm going to donkey kick back at that 90-90 as much as I can, activating here. Now I'm going to open the knee. So I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to open the knee and pull it up as far as I can till I'm in this position. And then I'm going to close the book. So the second one is extend the hip by donkey kicking back, knees at 90-90. Now I'm gonna, oh, as I'm extending back, open the knee to get external rotation. Continue rotating until I meet the top here, and then just close the book. So those are my two favorite dynamic hip exercises. Give them a try if you are that person that feels like you always stretch and it just is never getting you where you need to be. Go ahead and try these dynamic stretches. I think you'll really like them. And as always, like and subscribe so you don't miss any more tips. Looking forward to seeing you next time.